Hi there and welcome to this video in which I'll explain how to understand and memorize all 16 directions on a compass in just a couple of minutes. You will never need to learn these things like a parrot again. If you understand something, it's so much easier to remember it. So let's jump straight into it. Okay, firstly, we need to know uh, where north and south are. And I'm sure everybody knows that north is at the top of a map and south is at the bottom of the map. Good. Now we need to know what do we have um, on the left hand side and the right hand side of the compass. Now even adults um, get this one mixed up so what I normally do is to, to help me remember is to say west is on the left hand side. West and left both have the same letter E in it. So then we only need to put in east here on the right hand side. What you could also do is you could say naughty elephants spray water. Um, I know this is a bit lame but you need to do something in order to memorize these things. Good. Now we need to understand where is or what is exactly in between north and east. And some of my students sometimes ask me why do we say northeast and not east north. The reason is simple. North and south are your two most important um, directions on a compass. So they will always come first in these situations. Good, now we need to know what is over here and once again south is more important so we are going to say southeast not east south. Then we will look at what is exactly in between west and south and it's once again going to be southwest because south is more important and now by now you should know that we would write northwest over here. Good. So the key point here is to remember that north and south are your two most important directions on the compass. Now we are going to look at what is exactly between north and northeast and northeast and east. What I always, what, what I always tell my students is to first write northeast at each one of these points. Between north and northeast, we have north northeast. Obviously, now you need to remember why we say north northeast. Some of my students get confused with these things. I always tell them that this direction here is closer to north than what it is to east, so we are going to put a north in front of this. Now we need to know what is the direction over here, and same principle applies. I always tell my students which direction are we closer to, east or north? No, it's closer to east and that is why we put an E in front. Good. Well, let's first just write SE and SE. So, what are we going to do now? This area here is closer to east than what it is to south. So we say east, south. This direction here is closer to south, so we say south, southeast. And I think by now you should be able to do the last few ones. Thank you for tuning in. In the next video, I am going to explain how to calculate a bearing. So thank you once again, remember to subscribe, see you again, thank you.